guys. I'm at somewhere that I'm really excited to be at. Uh, I'm kind of a movie guy, and my one of my favorite all-time movies is Red Dawn. And today, I happen to be in Las Vegas, Las Vegas, New Mexico, which was the setting for the fictional Calumet, Colorado. So bear with me while I kind of nerd out a little bit and check out some of the sites and see what's here and what's not and uh, some of the famous scenes from movies and, and uh, it looks like it'd be a pretty cool little town anyway. Also, I think there was uh, No Country for Old Men was filmed here as well. Uh, the hotel, two of the hotels I think were in the movie, I've only seen it a couple times. We're just down this little main street that we're on at today and then tomorrow we're going to another hotel in Las Vegas which is supposed to be haunted as well so uh, we'll see what happens there talk to you later as like I told you I'm in Calumet Colorado if you know anything about the movie Red Dog that's the very first opening scene right there okay guys this was the scene Russian or Cubans, whatever, jumped in. Got some clothes done for right now. That's my cube. That's where all the kids were shot up. So if you remember at the end of Red Dawn, when the brothers were blowing up the town, all the Russian soldiers come out of the, the command, book, command headquarters, and this was it. And there's the rail yards. And then right over there, that was in the movie as well. Drawing a blank of what happened there, but I remember that being in the movie. All right, guys, that's the re-education camp from uh, Red Dawn. If you remember the movie, uh, that's where Patrick Swayze and Charlie Sheen found their dad, and he was like, "Avenge me!" That's it. Okay, after doing some photo research, I think this is going to be the actual spot where Morris's store was. As you can see, the kind of barren. This was a view that we saw in the movie. And right here, just about this area, is where the Russian roadblock was with the armored cars. And they took off heading through this fence. And then the helicopter come from that direction and blew up the Russian red <coughs> roadblock. Alright guys, I don't know if y'all recognize this or not, but this is the famous Wolverine location where Hardbark is up on those rocks up there and hollered Wolverine. And the view is just absolutely stunning. And breathtaking because we're at 7,000 feet. All right, so we just left Dick's Pub and Restaurant. I highly recommend the burger, the cowboy burger. And if you get lucky, you have Angela as your sweet. waitress. She's good. She was really good, and she took us to show us ghosts. Now we've got some rain coming in, and we're going to head up to the hotel and maybe see some ghosts tonight. This is the historic Plaza Hotel. And I gotta tell you, in a really cool small downtown area in Las Vegas. I kinda like this town.
So this is our hotel room. Pretty swanky actually, I like it a lot. It's kind of old and new vibe. You know, some old antiques, well what appear to be antiques in here. But the bed, <laughs> the bed, <laughs> my grandma had to come for like a <laughs> All right, guys, so we've done the, the whole Red Dawn fanboy tour today. Put a lot of miles on the car, going to different places, seeing different things. I'm going to get all that crap put together here in just a minute and uh, post it up on YouTube. Uh, tonight, we're staying at the Historic Plaza Hotel in bustling downtown Las Vegas, New Mexico. This building's been here since like 1880s. It's really cool. Um, Four Creeks. I mean, it's just it's just a really neat hotel. If you ever get a chance, I'd recommend coming here to stay. Staff has been excellent. Um, they have confirmed that the third floor, which we're on, is, 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 is indeed a haunted floor. So hopefully at some point tonight I'll get woke up by some kind of ghost or something. Um, I don't know what else to do. Maybe I can do a seance or bust out a Ouija board or some crap like that. But anyway, uh, if something happens or not, I'll let you know in the morning. Uh, I kind of doubt it, but you know, maybe not. Maybe so, who knows. But anyway, remember to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. I hope, hope you guys will enjoy this as much as I did. I, I really, this is like a fanboy moment for me. I just, Red Dawn is one of my absolute favorite movies. I remember watching it in the theater when it first came out, being scared to dad Jim death over the whole thing. Um, but anyway, I'll put up, put up what we got and let you look at it. If you like it, great. If not, I don't care because I had a great time.